Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountains training videos on Works Manager. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an excavator um, that I have in my emulator to a device inside my account. It would be the same thing for dozers, graders, anything Earthworks um, at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to enter in that device. So when you're in your account right here, make sure that you right here at the top left see the account name that you have. Go ahead and go to Devices. And in devices, what we're going to do is add from the top right here in this uh, blue button, we're going to add in a device. So in here, you can see um, from my other video, that if you watch that, that, we did a tablet for a TSC-7. What we're going to do is come down here and look for the EC-520 options. There's two different options in here, and two of these I've got caught with myself, where one has a W and the other one doesn't. I'm not 100% sure where the W comes from when we're actually setting the machines up, but before you actually enter in the serial number here, go and check that. And what you do is in the actual web interface of an Earthworks machine, once you've unlocked it here, you've got all these tabs down along the left side right here from home monitor operation. Under the co connectivity one, there's one that says connected, uh, connected community. Over here to the right side, this device ID right here in the middle, this is where you need to look to see if it has a W or not. This one doesn't, and I am going to use the emulator just uh, on this video because I don't want to use an actual customer's machine and uh, be giving away any of their information or serial numbers, etc., etc. So bear with me on this one, but there's no W right there. So in Works Manager, we'll go ahead and leave that at EC520 just like it is. And then the serial number is pretty important right here to get this one right, and the device name. Under that, you can give it whatever description you want. Um, so serial number is going to be the number that shows up here, and one place you can look for that is up here at the top left. Underneath, or right by that tablet, you're going to see that the very, very top, this one was named Standard Excavator Caterpillar. That's going to be way different for some of your machines. And then the serial number is going to show up right where I have J Larson 1010. This is because it's my computer. So for serial number, I'm going to put J Larson all in caps dash 1010. So right here, I'm going to put J Larson, and you can see it showed up because I've already had this one in here before. I've deleted it and re added it. So in here, you can see that I've got the standard excavator caterpillar in here as long as those two match what you see on the excavator here and you've got the ec correct you can come back in here and give it whatever description you want so this one i can just call it my emulator uh, you can give this a machine number if you guys have an excavator number or a job site number for that machine whatever it may be for the description under the password go ahead and put in whatever you want i'm going to put abc and then I'm going to confirm that with ABC. They both match right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add that device. Heads up, we're good to go on that. Now, it's going to go ahead and add it in here. Sometimes this takes just a second, and you'll get a blue icon right here at the top that'll say that the device has been added. So right here, one device added to the account. I'm going to go out of that page into another one. Um, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to show you right here, the short organization name is the one that you need to have when you enter it back into the machine. So this demo site tech I am, it's all in capitals. So back here, you can see I've got the excavator down here. It's got the um, check right here um, and I need to recheck. But before I do that, I need to go back into the machine and enter those credentials in. So right here at the top for that um, name for the Connected Community Organization, that's going to be my demo site tech IM, which was my short name there. And then under device password, that's where I'm going to just match up that password that I had inside Works Manager. Now, one thing I have done in the past is once I've put those both in, I feel like I needed to hit this recheck. But what you got to do before you do that, or even to get that to turn green, is simply hit the save down here in the bottom corner. Once you hit that save, you actually should have a successful um, ad right here. We're good to go. Um, everything matched up perfectly. The internet's working good on the machine. We can go back to Works Manager, and then we can hit recheck right here. So up here, it'll say it's attempting to claim the device in the account. 
This may take just a second. Some of them go really fast. Some of them take a minute. This one um, went pretty quick right here. So device was uh, successfully claimed. And on the right side right here, now you can see some of the information that comes up with that. Once again, this is my emulator. It'll be a little bit different for some of your machines out there. But the beauty of this is, is now you can manage the field software. It'll tell you what the current version is of the machine, last reported, and some active projects, et cetera, et cetera, for that. When this turns green for your machines that are actively working out in the field, that'll allow you, just like this one right here for the laptop, that'll allow you to actually remote into the Earthworks machines into the web interface and deal with some of the, the data on the machine. One thing to note, though, for the field software is you have to be 2.8.0 so 280 or above in order to remote in. If you're below that, we just need to do an update. So we are good to go here on this. What I am going to do, though, is down here where it says projects, I'm going to go back to a project I've been using for a couple of these videos, this Site Tech um, Demo 8923. Now what I need to do is add that device. Since it's been added to my account, it hasn't been added to this job site. So under devices over here, you can see I've got my laptop and I've got the TSC7, but I want to hit this blue add and I want to come in here and go down where it says the excavator and I want to check that. And I want to add that device to this individual project, which means that right here where the designs are, I've got designs under this demo um, project. It's now going to be added to the device because if I go back to the device now, and you can see that it's been added in here and I can go to designs and I can go into designs and right here it says it's published all that have been added to this project. So once I feel like that's good and it's added here, one last thing is we'll go back to the actual machine in the web interface and on these tabs on the left side, there's one up here that says operation. Under operation, you can see right here the sync intervals. You can change it between manually syncing it, where the operator has to do it physically himself, or put it on every 15 minutes. I would just suggest leave it on every 15 minutes. Here's my organization name that you can go into details, blah, blah, blah. Now that I come down in this list right here, you can see that I've got a couple other projects, but I've got Site Tech Demo 8923. So what I can do is go ahead and hit synchronize, and it will synchronize with the connected community and make the process in between. This is a manual sync. After this, I would just leave it on the auto sync. The operator won't even know what's happening in the background. It won't give them a warning or anything. The only warning your operator will get is if you actually manually log into the machine from Works Manager and he's in the Cat Grade or Earthworks Grade app. It's gonna give him a warning that someone is trying to log in. An administrator, all you do is tell him to hit the accept button and it'll let him in. Once it's successful, it'll give you the warning up here that everything's good. Now that it shows it right here, that's not what's actually on board. This is just the uh, option for projects to sync. I can go into this file management on the left side and under this option that says projects, I can drop it down. And now you can see that I've got Site Tech Demo as one of the projects 8923. We've got office data and we've got the site. We are good to go calibrations in there. Uh, that is how you set it up on the machine here. And back here, we have claimed the device and added it to this project. So thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Inner Mountain on Trimble Works Manager, adding a Earthworks device to the project and the account.